everybody. Welcome to another edition of Travel with the Stars. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Welcome back, Hi. everybody. Hey. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, sorry. Wrong. Wrong. Wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> We have three of our amazing stars on, so welcome to Heather, Kyla, and Emily. Hello, ladies. Hello. We're going to talk about one of our favorite topics, food. Um, it's almost lunchtime. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> so oh, my God. Um, and it's going to be good. <clears throat> So we're going to talk about specifically, though, because we've talked about different restaurants, but food is like such an important part of everybody's journey, I feel like, in vacation. Um, let's talk about Disney Springs food, which two people on this podcast today get to go whenever they want, and it's just really not fair because um, they live there, whatever. Um, <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> I think I would work from there. Right? You just yeah. go I mean, you it. can. You can. You absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I yeah, would just go to like pie. summer house every day and, and work there. Mm -hmm. For real though. And then eat all the cookies. And then I was say, would cookies. you work at the cookie bar? Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably be on the cocktail side. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's a dumb question. <laughs> cookies, <Yeah>. cocktails. <laughs> I mean, cookies <laughs> and cocktails. Oh, that's a good name. Oh, that is. Yeah. <laughs> New <laughs> restaurant coming oh. to Disney Springs. <laughs> <laughs> cookies and cocktails. <laughs> Cookies and Carry cocktails. On. Sorry. Cookies and cocktails. I always spell everything with a K. Yes. Cookies yeah. and cocktails. Oh, like the Kardashians. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay, sorry. I digress. Trade sorry. market. Trade market. Done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, happy summer, everybody. Um, as as you can tell, we're very excited about this topic. So um, we are going to start with what our favorite restaurants in Disney Springs are. And then we're going to talk about more specifically the sit-down eateries. Okay, we're, we're focusing in on that versus, you know, anything else. So let's go round robin. Emily, what is your favorite Disney Springs restaurant? So I would have to say between Boathouse and Paddlefish, but I'm going to go for Paddlefish. Mm. Mm. That's – Yep. Both are solid options. Paddlefish yes. Is so good. So Ooh. we have a tradition going to Paddlefish on Christmas Eve, and it's a oh, great place to sit because you can sit right next to the windows and see everything. It's fabulous. I love it. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Kyla, favorite Disney Springs restaurant? I – well, I was thinking about this and I said Wine Bar George, but I also love Homecoming, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. It's like a, it's like, it's like what vibe am I today? Am I going to Wine yes. Bar George or am I going to Homecoming? Like, am yeah. I drinking moonshine or am I drinking like a glass of wine with a charcuterie board? Like, those are Pretty my- Are sure things. it's not what comes first? Because I feel- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd like, let's be honest. I go to all of them on the same day. And it's like- Yeah. <laughs> Because I feel like I enjoy all of is a great start. Brunch. And, meander, and it's like, oh, look where we ended up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Heather, favorite Disney Springs restaurant? I don't know. This is like a toss up. I'm going to say it's a toss up between Boathouse and the Edison for like the dumbest mm. reasons for me. It's the okay. Dip. It's well, now you have to tell because us. of a specific dish that's on each of their menus. <laughs> oh. Okay, at the Edison, is it the adult grilled cheese? Because that's my no. jam. No, no, I love their calamari there, what? <laughs> and I don't know why no. there. The only other place that like I love it at is at Space Two Twenty, but it's so expensive to eat there, and I'm just like, no, yeah. I can just go oh, to the Edison really and just like get my the calamari. I don't know why. But I also love like the atmosphere of it. Mm. But I have to be in the right mood to be like, okay, we're going okay. to the Edison. So I think for that okay. aspect, I should probably say Boathouse because I love like sitting outside and watching the little car boats yeah. go by mm -hmm. and getting my little mm -hmm. firecracker bang bang shrimp and like being happy. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. I am much like Emily, and I was kind of between uh, Paddlefish and Boathouse. And it's mm. so hard. 
pick. Um, I'm probably going to throw mine. I don't know if this can change on any given day. I'm probably throwing mine to paddlefish because I love, mm-hmm. I don't know, like the crab cakes were good. And yeah. crab fries. Yes. Oh, oh. I haven't tried them. No, yeah. well, I always get the um, I get the crab cakes, but I also get the um, fried green tomato appetizer. Oh, oh, it's fantastic! The fried green tomato. Oh my gosh, my kids even love it. They're, yeah, they're... it's it's so good. I well, think and I need to what, give it another chance. You do. I mean, so the yeah. thing is, it's like it's nostalgic though for me too because that used to have like all the character meals in it. It was mm-hmm. um, the Lily Fulton's wait. Crab House. Fulton's the Before Lily Bell? Fulton's. Lily, it no, was oh Lily. yeah. Lily. The Steve, um, Empress? Empress Lily? Empress, Empress Lily. That was it. When it was the Empress Lily, I still have my placemats for when there was a character I have a troll. there. Aww. When I was younger, I always thought that like it could just like take off into the water and you'd be like eating and dining <laughs> on a paddle boat like on the water. Like the Gateway Clipper? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's because I was from Pittsburgh. I was like, well, what, when does it pull away? Like when yeah. When does it pull away? <laughs> yeah. That would well, be great. It, but if you we have those in Pittsburgh, awesome. in Pittsburgh, we have that. Pittsburgh, we have that. It's oh. like you go and eat and dine on a paddle boat and like go down the river and you're eating on a paddle boat. So that I just assumed fun. that that thing would take yeah. off. It's a popular thing for like proms and stuff up here too. I was just going like, to say, I remember trying to get that for our prom. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so fun. Has yeah, anyone made really it to the rooftop on Paddlefish though? Because I never have. Is it cool mm-hmm. up there? Like, like yeah, twinkle lights and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Now we were sitting. To be fair, we were sitting inside, but we could see the twinkle lights from the window. Okay, but um, I think it's was it winter time. I mean, not that it matters in Florida. It wasn't that cold, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's. I don't know. I've always had good service, and I've always had good food at Paddlefish. And I know that not everybody has that same experience, but I've, I've always enjoyed it. I don't know. We didn't have bad food. We just had shrimp cocktail at the bar, and it was just fine. It was like fine. It was just fine. It wasn't but great. like we need to have like a meal there. Like we sat with you guys, but I think we had like oysters and oysters. You had oysters, oysters. yeah. Like, like and yeah, and and Agent Yell met us as well. Yeah. And we all just kind of like like chilled out there, and then we, you know, cruised Disney Springs and like did other stuff. So, yeah. um, probably went to Wine Bar George. <laughs> I think that was a stop. <laughs> and I think Savannah B was oh, also yeah. Another I mean, obviously, Honey Daisy. That's a staple. That's stop another episode. Hers. That's, that's an episode that's whole, unto itself. That's literally another episode. Uh, <laughs> so Kyla will do a whole episode on mead tasting with Savannah right. Bee Company. <laughs> yes. yes. So let's talk about, though, um, the boathouse because a lot of us, and I know all of us love the boathouse. I do. It's good. Yep. But what is a favorite? Anyone have a staple there? The, the ducky cocktail. cocktail. That's what I was just saying. I knew she was going to say that. I was like, Emily, Emily or Kyla are going to talk about the duck cocktail. (laughs) Kyla and I have a picture together with our ducky cocktails. Yes. You got to get the tiny baby duck. Looks like it's swimming. And then you have to order enough cocktails so every kid has a duck. So every, that was, yeah, we had to do (laughs) that. So the other kid needs one. (laughs) And they serve the little kids meals like in the little car. They do. They look so so cute. cute. Has That's anyone adorable. ever sat in the car in the restaurant? Because I have oh not She's gotten that. No. Yes. She's I've obsessed never... <laughs> with sitting in that. <laughs> I need to sit in that car one day. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Come on, Boathouse. Give her a boat. Throw her a boat. I will say the last time we went, we, I sat outside, like over the water for the first time, like Frank oh, and I did nice. on the February trip. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, it's so nice out here. We got out there at 11 nice. o'clock on the dot. There was yeah. nobody there. Like mm-hmm. ordered some like snacks and cocktails, and it was like such a beautiful day. Like that's mm-hmm. something yeah. I don't even think people realize is actually back there. It's beautiful on the water. It's it is, and so then there's nice. another bar further back there. Mm-hmm. That's really yes. pretty. Yes, it's amazing. I don't think they realize it because you have to walk through the restaurant and just say like, mm-hmm. "Hey, I'm heading out there." So right, it's everybody. like first comes first serve out there. So and their rolls that they bring to your table have like honey drizzled on. Oh, they're so, so good. good. Oh, it's so good. That's a, that is a good I'm going to have to go tonight. I think, <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. Now, Emily, like, Emily dinner is served. <laughs> dinner is let me just, served. Let me just check me and Emily way. will send you pictures of ducky cocktails. It's fine. It's fine. 
in the boat. In the boat. <laughs> in the in the the boat. In the, the big one. Ugh. It's All fine. Right, I'll be ordering out because Frank's not here. You guys eat at the boathouse. I'm not jealous. <laughs> not jealous at all. Not jealous. <laughs> but let's also talk about Chef Art Smith because I took Brady in March for the first time. He had never eaten dinner there. And he liked it. He was very impressed. The whole party was like, some people were like, that was my favorite meal. I was like, I mean, that's fair. I mean, it's when so people good. go to it, they definitely request it again. Yeah. They do. Mm-hmm. The mac and cheese, like a fan favorite. The mac and cheese, the uh, the um, yeah. fried chicken. Hmm. I will say, I've had brunch there a hundred times, and I've never had, <laughs> I've never had dinner. I've not had dinner either. I've had brunch, but I've not had dinner. The brunch is fantastic. And it's yeah. so good. Like those like mm-hmm. homemade like cinnamon roll things with the pecans oh. on top and like I don't know, mm-hmm. caramel or something drizzled on them. Oh, it's so good. Or the moonshine bites. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get Heather one of those? <laughs> They're so mild. Like every like I always thought moonshine was like like pure grain alcohol, but those it's like drinking juice. I'm sure it is. Well, Kyla, for you, yeah. Sure it is. I'm sure I could just down them and I would be like, oh, this is juice. Fine. <laughs> can I can I be there when that happens? Oh my god. <laughs> like, please, can I volunteer to be there? The December trip. We'll do it on the December trip. Okay, right, okay. Yeah. Uh, Ross, can we please get Art Smith for breakfast brunch? Yep, I'm in. The December trip. I am we have a, we have a guest star, Heather. <laughs> Should we do a Emily, live Emily always, always says it? that if Heather has a drink in her, it's way more fun. It's true. I mean, they're always fun. Yeah. Because I never know what's going to come out of your mouth. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I think I just think I'm funnier when I say it. <laughs> The thing oh, yeah, is, when anybody is like, I told Heather, and this is what Heather said. I'm like, I can literally hear Heather in my head exactly the way she's. <laughs> and when she texts, and, and then you just know, like, <laughs> it's like coming in a text. <laughs> like, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I mean, at least you know what you're Sorry. getting. <laughs> yep. We totally derailed, guys. <laughs> It's okay. This derails basically weekly, so we're we're good. We're good. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is, folks. This is actually who we are. This it is. This, no is, this is legit. This is this is legit. Oh this my is gosh! Me. Isn't that the greatest showman yeah. song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the greatest showman. Yes. Um. So now we've talked about some of our favorites. Let's give some shout outs to a few of the other ones, and I think. Amongst the four of us, we've probably eaten at most of these. So let's kind of briefly discuss City Works Eatery and Poor House on the west side. Anybody? Am I the only one who's been there? I have I've not eaten there. there. Oh, okay. I ordered beers. Okay. I was actually. <laughs> How looks Sorry. Good? <laughs> you I should do the brunch. The Get the moonshine. <laughs> I've never eaten there. I got the beers. <laughs> I will, to be fair, I would not have eaten there except it was at an event. And that was just like where our scheduled lunch was. And they set up like all of their, I guess their, their top meals, like as a, like a grab, like a buffet kind of situation, but they don't normally have a buffet. They just set it up for us because there were a bunch of us and it was like a rent out. And they, I would say the food I was pleasantly surprised was, was quite good. Where's they had like some, yeah. yeah, it's like yeah, just a very like classic sports bar. food. Um, I step up not quite as much variety, but okay. I feel like flavor wise, I'd put it like on par with Splitsville, which I think Splitsville is good. Like, I think it's, I yeah, too. yeah, I love her sushi. I, I would yeah. say, like, as far as city work, there's always a reservation available. Yes, yes. there it's really huge. is because mm-hmm. it's big. Yeah, yeah, it's big, but you're not going to go wrong. Like, if you happen to walk in, like, you're going to have a good meal. It's uh, beer and wine on tap, so mm-hmm. it's. You know, and but it is a, it's a sports bar atmosphere. So I mean, yeah. I'm sure every city has a sports bar. <laughs> kind of, there's not nothing specifically Disney about it, but it's a solid location. Um, it's well, of course, it was next to the NBA Sports Experience, which right isn't it more? 
Oh, which is fine. Which is also fine. Um, <laughs> Disney Quest, Disney Quest, bring that. I know, Disney bring Quest. it back. What? Yes. Back. Updated Disney, did Disney Quest. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was so much fun. I never did um, I'm curious to see what they are bringing back. That's another episode. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. No, no, but I am curious to see as well. Now, in terms of a couple of things, I'm going to lump three together. Okay. We've got, well, actually just two. The Edison and Enzo's Hideaway. There's the third little pizza place too, but we're not going to count mm -hmm. that because that's just like a grab and go pizza, which is good. But mm -hmm. you got Enzo's. No, I'm sorry. Three. I am going to do three. Edison, Enzo's Hideaway, and Maria and Enzo's. Mm -hmm. Because they're all connected with the storyline. They all have Correct. the connection. Mm -hmm. I do like the Edison. The grilled cheese and tomato soup is the best. It is. Yeah. The Maria and Enzo's. Enzo's. Like we had Maria and Enzo's on our first fam. We yep. did. And Maria and did. Enzo's. Or the first I, fam I went on. But. Right, I think that was a really solid meal, actually, Maria and Enzo's. And I've eaten there a couple times. I really times. enjoyed it. I, I thought it was great. It's, no, it's like a lot bigger and it seemed kind of like an old airplane hangar. But then mm -hmm. if you go down into the little hideaway, Enzo's hideaway, it's a little cozier and you can see the big blocks of like Pecorino Romano cheese. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I haven't done Enzo's. Okay. Put it on the December list. Yeah. Okay. December list Enzo's. So I guess we're just hanging out at Disney Springs in December. <laughs> the whole time actually. <laughs> I live in charge and everybody should not be surprised. You don't even need it. You don't even need a ticket. You're just, we're just you don't going need a to ticket. Disney we're Disney. just going to Disney Springs. <laughs> Throw those pass holders away. We don't need them that weekend, friends. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, no, I really, like, the, I really like Maria and Enzo's. I do too. I, it, it's Italian food, if you can't tell. So mm -hmm. Maria and Enzo's Italian food. Yes. Um, I do think that the menu. I prefer the menu at Maria and Enzo's or Enzo's Hideaway to the Edison overall, unless we're talking about the grilled cheese and tomato soup. Or the calamari. <laughs> Or the calamari. Right. Or the calamari. Accurate. So if you like want appies or grilled cheese, mm -hmm. <laughs> you should go to Edison. <laughs> or the atmosphere is really fun at the Edison. It it's is so much fun. fun. Music. It's so much fun. Tyler, okay. would you like to tell them what kind of special drinks you can get at the Edison? Um <laughs> are you saying you don't know? I, I I forget I actually forget what I got last time. Would they do have the shot fairy? Yes. That's and true. if you if you are a non drinker about. and want to be the DD mm -hmm. in the group, they have non alcoholic shot fairies. They fairy. do. They yes. have mocktail shots. So they yeah. literally for for people who don't know what a shot fairy is, there's literally a fairy walking around with like a box of with like wings. what what are those? Yes, and she she has the wings on and at Christmas time they're Christmas. But what are those like vials test tubes. called? They're like test oh, tubes. Yeah, like a test they're tube. Like looks like a test, test tube. tube shots. But yes, she had like two alcoholic and, and a non alcoholic ones. option. And they were great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so everybody can be included. Like, yeah, that you don't have to worry about, you know, if you're a DD or if you just don't drink, then they're every literally everybody can be included. And it's like it's like super fun. <laughs> it's so fun. Yeah. Um, but I do think I do think it's a super fun atmosphere, but it can be a little bit loud. So mm -hmm, keep that mm -hmm. in mind. Like the other two are a little quieter. It's a little louder at the Edison, but it is, it is a lot of fun, especially with a group of people. <laughs> you can really, okay. yeah, really have a good time. Um, I'm not going to lie. I've never been to Frontera Cochina. I haven't either. either. And I pass it every time I pass, I'm like, either. yeah, try that. And then I never think to do it. That is the same owner as Luca. Am I know what she knows. Is there, she knows is there a con knows there's it. a connection there. I think there is. I just have never eaten there. No, Me I just feel like I'm going to go to Mexico and Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so hold off on that one. Like, it looks good, but we haven't tried that one yet. Um, the rest of these, I think we got though. House of Blues. This is like so yep. the brunch, the Sunday gospel mm -hmm. brunch is so much fun. So much fun. That's what I've heard before. Oh my gosh. Looks like we're doing that on Sunday in December. <laughs> <laughs> it's already right, we can lined up. <laughs> I had no idea. I haven't eaten there since it was downtown Disney. So it's been a while. I ate there probably Wait, about a month ago. I've been making that up about the mimosas. That's a long time ago. <laughs> That'd be fun though. I ate there about a month ago. I had a really great cocktail and food was really, I thought really, really good. I was impressed. Yeah. 
you can, I mean, you can go for just like food, like normal food, mm-hmm. not on a Sunday, but right. like going on the Sunday, it's like this whole buffet situation and there's a whole show and it's, mm-hmm. it's just, it's mm-hmm. a ball. So much fun. Okay. Yeah. Sign me up. Just good American food. Just, you know, you can get, I mean, it's like, it's blues based, you know, yeah. um, Haleo. I know Kyla enjoyed Haleo. Here she goes. Yes. <laughs> this is her thing. I'm actually shocked that you didn't say this was your favorite. Yeah. Because, it, like, it's it's like you have to be, like, prepared for this meal. It's, like, yeah. lots of, like, different parts. And there's, like, so many sections of the menu. And, like, we've gone in and done, like, the tasting. Like, the, mm-hmm. like not the chef's taste. I don't know what it's called. Mm-hmm. The, the tasting. Like, me and Frank. And then that's the one that David came and Mm -hmm. met us. And then we've done like family with like lots of Mm -hmm. little plates, not exactly a tasting, but then we've gone to the bar and ordered like our favorites and had like a bottle of wine. And it was, and those are all like three different experiences, but they were all fantastic. And the food is delicious. It's Jose Andres. He's amazing. So that's a great experience in there. All of your pictures have always looked phenomenal for that restaurant. They just make this like, I'm like, wait, like, let me tell you about this little like (laughs) martini spoon they have. And I can't like get over it because it looks like a little olive in the spoon. And then you just like, you just like take it down and they're like, oh, that's not actually an olive though. Like they like create this concoction and make it look like an olive, but it just tastes like you're like taking an olive down with like a little like martini on top, but it's not alcoholic and it's not an olive. I can't describe it. But it's amazing. And I would order 17 huh. of those dishes if I could. It's so good. So good, guys. But it's not an olive? No, but it's not an olive. And like Luis hmm. at the bar last time told us, he's like, that's not actually an olive. I'm like, what? You just blew my mind. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right. I have to go. All right. So anyway, I need, yes. I need to be- amazing. Yes. All right. I always forget about it. Because it's like down like that side. It is. It's down the one side that's Mm -hmm. not as trafficked. I feel like if if you go down, um, was it the Lime Garage? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, like well, so many people park in the Lime Garage. Locals don't. Are you in like great? I park in the Lime Garage. I was gonna go to World of Disney. This is World of Disney. Mm. (laughs) All right, Morimoto Asia. Love it. Chef Morimoto. Beautiful. I love it. I think I think it is great. It is food. so beautiful. It I is, don't oh think you gosh, can ever so go good. wrong with a meal there. Ever. No. no, it's always gonna be solid. And it's always good for a meal. Like if you had like a day at like Animal Kingdom, that's like mm. the place that I suggest that clients go to like even if you're gonna stay to the park until six o'clock, I'm like book a seven o'clock reservation and go eat there. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. And it's just so pretty with those chandeliers inside. They're like two stories long or tall or whatever they are. Like that's, it's just like so nice. And then like the one time, how did we even find this out? Somebody was walking over from the the world's longest bar, which Brady, like Brady loves to point it out to people who have never been. And I literally do not, because he doesn't typically eat there because he has an allergy to soy. So, you know, it's not a place he often eats. It might have been one of our other friends who pointed that out to him. But so that's just always something we point out because it like goes all the way upstairs and all around. And it's just really, hmm. really beautiful. So yeah, we walked up hmm. in February and saw it. He like, yeah. we, like we like followed it upstairs. Yeah, if you follow it, like it starts on the on the ground floor and like it goes all the way up the stairs and all around. So like if you eat there, I mean you gotta check it out. Like, how are you not seeing that? Um, all right, here's another one that I haven't eaten at. Paradiso, 37. Haven't eaten there. Never ate there. Haven't eaten there either. That's another place that always has a reservation. Mm-hmm. Yes. It always has a reservation. People seem and to I be enjoying see their it. Food. And then choose something else. And I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So maybe we redo this show in like after December and we go to these places that we've not. We have to go to these places that we have not. So far, there's only two, though. There's only two that we haven't been able to talk about. Yeah, um, I feel like there's another one, though. That we have another one that I walk past. I don't know who goes to Rainforest. Has has oh, I do not. I mean, I've been there. I I spend my yeah, I spend my life at Rainforest or T Rex. And I will tell you about T Rex. T Rex has my favorite meal on property. Stop. 
Which one? What is what? it? It's I swear. Here we go. It's called the Sunset Isle salmon. It's panko oh. crusted salmon oh. on rice with tomatoes and I want to say feta and kalamata olives and chickpeas. It's so good. It's so good. That actually sounds Plus, you're surrounded by dinosaurs. I mean, hello. Great experience. I mean, eat an extra triceratops. It's huge. I mean, it's huge too. It's absolutely huge yeah. because everything at that restaurant for that purpose mm. is huge. Yeah. But I spend a lot of time at Rainforest Cafe because it's, I have small children. And, and you have a land use card. You can walk like right in, basically. Honestly, like mm -hmm. you can walk up. So if we're at Disney yeah. Springs and we're like, oh, we want to have dinner, I can walk up and go to dinner. <clears throat> Paige likes to have, it's our thing. We get a plate of nachos and Coke Zero. So that's what we do when it's our, that's our mom and me. Meal. Oh, oh, I love that. Yes. So, so and if we're at Animal Kingdom, we just go and spend time with the otters. So no, yeah, that's our day. Yeah. so cute. Yeah. So cute. I love them. So um, we just, we just sit as long as we want with the otters and nobody can tell us no. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love her love of otters. It is so adorable. I mean, how couldn't you love them? They're so cute. Her kids oh, and the otters. They're adorable. Yeah. yeah all perfect them. mix. <laughs> Agreed. So, yeah. So I spend a lot of time. I'm very familiar with rainforest, but yeah, I mean, with the Landry's card, you get, points mm -hmm. even the yeah. longest i've ever had to wait for landry's or for rainforest or t-rex was over a spring break and it was 25 minutes oh that's amazing which is nothing i mean that's easy to occupy your no. time for 25 minutes like mm -hmm. yeah there's yeah. a whole Isn't store that the same owner as boathouse there's there was a book is boathouse lounge there was, I thought there they was were independently owned. No. Well, and so you like, did. look it up. <clears throat> I'm feeling look, very yeah, excited and misguided because. I mean, I know that Rainforest and T-Rex, Yak and Yeti. Yeah. And I feel like there's one other one that I'm missing are all Landry's. I took a picture of the book at Boathouse because I was like, oh, mm -hmm. I need to read this because I didn't realize they were all connected. But maybe I have the wrong connections. Mm -hmm. I thought I'm it was Boathouse. I'll have to mm -hmm. look it up. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that one up because if so, like, dang, I got a Landry's card. <laughs> yeah, for real. I forget about Yak and Yeti being Landry's. Yeah, okay. Yak and Yeti is, Yak is definitely Landry's. I did it once for Yak and Yeti, too, and it it works. Great. It was great. Yeah. yeah. My sister-in-law does that all the time. Um, all right. So a couple more that we want to touch on here. Um, and if my eye is all red, sorry, guys, I'm fine. Just my contact is not fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> We're fine. We're all fine. We're all fine. <laughs> So, Planet Hollywood. I have eaten here once. I ate there once, and I never went back. It, it's fine. It's a burger and fries. Uh, Agent Jessica and I went there <clears throat> before we went to the T Swift concert with the girls. Oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's fun for that atmosphere. Like it's sure it is loud. It, it is, is loud. But a lot of people, when they go on vacation, like they look mm -hmm. for the planet Hollywoods, they do that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's, yeah. it's a fun, I would definitely go there more for the atmosphere than the food. Because right. the food's just, like, I think I got like a the cop salad or something. It, it wasn't anything it, like mind blowing, yeah. but. But if you have an fun. option to like pay to do a sit down and you're going to, mm. your kids are going to get like chicken fingers and fries, like don't go there. Like yeah. just go to chicken guy. And then it can have like 15. Right. right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> With all the sauces. Thousands of Yeah. A um, million. No, Not the green one. The green one's um, no, yes. disgusting. But oh. anyway. Okay. Anyway. I'd uh, uh, Okay. Here's another one. Raglan Road. I love it. Oh, I it's love a fun Raglan time. Road. It is yeah. so good. That docky duo appetizer is like so the good. best thing. It's like those little sausages mm. on the forks and they like oh, stick the right. forks in a little box and it comes with like the little dipping sauces. Oh, my oh it's God. So good. It's so good. I feel like and we all, when we we all ate there in hmm. what trip was February. That? February. February. Oh, like trying to remember which one that was. Yeah, but it was so good. Um, and it's always fun to have a little entertainment. They always have yeah. like you know the, the evening, dancing like, is the so dancers, fun and like the bands yeah. and it's all of course Irish themed as you would imagine and it was just really good. They That's always solid. it's good people totally. watching too. You can just grab a like mm. I like to get cider so like you can. 
sit outside yes. on a bench and people watch and still listen to the music. Like mm-hmm. it's a good, it's a good time. I like and riding. the brunch is good too. For sure. Mm-hmm. The brunch is, is very good. So I haven't done the brunch yet. Put it on the list. Put it on yes. the list. <laughs> December, Disney Springs trip. <laughs> I can't wait for this itinerary to come out. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. To Disney, Disney Springs. Springs. <laughs> no tickets needed. <laughs> Bring extra money for food. <laughs> Oh, no, so funny. All right, a uh, couple more here. Splitsville, which we kind of mentioned earlier, it's a bowling mm-hmm. alley. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it, the food is actually surprisingly good. It's not like your typical bowling alley food. It mm-hmm. actually meals. I get the Mexican I need you to get on board with it. <laughs> This <laughs> angers me that Kyla does not like bowling. It angers me. Oh, God, I hate it. I remember the first but, time I she mean, told me I was like, "Have a large menu." They have, they do have a menu. large menu. So, they have a huge menu. Yeah. You can get and like basically kids like bowling and then you can like have lunch and then you can go down and then you can like see a movie like in the theater. Yeah. Like it's like the perfect Saturday afternoon to like occupy your kids but, in like. But Disney the meal Springs. does not include bowling. You have to make You're a separate correct. bowling you reservation. Separate. So you do mm-hmm. have to do a separate reservation. Correct. You can I eat separately, like... but yes. you can mm-hmm. just eat or you can eat and bowl. Mm-hmm. So I definitely suggest rolling up to Slitsville, getting your reservation, getting your name in, and yes. then doing a few things because it's mm-hmm. usually a wait. So yes, unless you pre-reserve, which you can pre- right. pre-reserve some things. Yeah. If you know you want to do it, then just pre-reserve it. So mm-hmm. it's easier. All right. This next one, we actually had an offline discussion about this one before we started. STK. Never going back. Never going back. I'm never, never going back. back. I think there's better. I mean, I've never eaten there, and I'm just gonna say yeah. there's better steaks on property. Like Flying Fish has amazing steaks. It's yeah. overpriced, yeah. and the service is so slow. We literally were there yeah. just there like two weeks ago, and I was like, I'm "Not coming back." It's it's overhyped, and it was mm-hmm. so slow, so slow. We we, we were in there out for like three hours twice. We have walked out twice because after half an hour, we we're sitting there with a glass of water, and the That's staff was rude. Us. And they were rude. So I was like, nope. And we're, we're done. Never going back. <laughs> no, I, I don't see the, the draw. No, thanks. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm sure it's. So we've made our statement on that. <laughs> That's all we have to say about that. Um, <laughs> Summer House, brand new. Wow, so good. And the cookie bar. They have a cookie oh, bar. Oh, have a cookie bar. And it's so good. And, and they're now, way easier to get than Gideon's. Now, yeah. like with <laughs> Dreams That Soar, you can like be sitting in Summer House and watching the show. Amazing. Perfection. So good. I, uh, yes. I've not had a full meal there yet, <laughs> but kidding. I cannot wait. I love it. I love the it vibe. Was, I love everything so about it. And it's, it's so, so pretty, pretty inside. Yes. So pretty. So, Kyla, what did you eat? I had the... Probably gnocchi. Is there gnocchi on the menu? I don't remember. But we had a meal Kyla, there what in did January. you drink? Aperol spritz. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what I ate. I just remember that the meal was great. Like, I had no complaints. Mm-hmm. Like, the girls loved it. Name. They had, like, big portions for the kids. Mm-hmm. And everything and, we saw yeah. coming out, which wasn't a lot, but we saw, like, a few things coming out while we were in there. And it everything looked amazing. It's a good now time. It's hard to get a reservation. Let's see what I actually ate. <laughs> All right. Terralina. That's the third one. That's the third one. I was like, there's three. Mm-hmm. I've, That's the third one I've, I've eaten there to. a few times. I've eaten there once. It was good. It was your standard Italian. I've gotten lasagna both mm-hmm. times. During Christmas mm-hmm. shopping, that's... I don't okay. know. I think it's a Pittsburgh thing. Like, I just growing up, I always yeah. feel like when I go Christmas shopping, I need... Italian, Italian food. food? I, that's exactly. I don't right. know. It just like goes together. That so <laughs> I always want to do a Christmas shopping day. I need Italian food. So I went to Terralina both times. And it, I mean, it was good. I had lasagna. Mm-hmm. And Kyle, my favorite sauce. You're yes. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle and I talked about this. Why. It's the sauce. It's a sweet sauce, which is and one mm-hmm. family. Not, and I my, prefer, not my family mm-hmm. sauce. I prefer a more tart sauce or a more acidic sauce. And it's yeah. so the sauce is a little on the sweet side. That's that's just but that's a personal preference. I think it's good yeah. aside from that. It's just 
I don't like that. that's uh, that's what I'm conflicted about. We had such a great experience there, and I got like mm -hmm. a little wine flight, and they gave you like a cute little card to go with it. And our server was amazing. He was Heather's laughing at me, and. <laughs> And he was like so personable and we had like such a great meal like apps mm -hmm. and but the sauce like like i wanted to just be different problem. sauce mm -hmm. you're right yeah. yeah next time i'm just gonna get like i'll try it again because i do but maybe get, like a cream like sauce it. Like if you got like a difference, oh yeah, that's right. You're no, okay. that's right up there with a casserole for her. <laughs> <laughs> we just get gnocchi with some like oil. Some oil. There you go. Yeah, just get, you put some oil and parmesan on it. It'll be fine. Perfect. <laughs> we do not do cream sauces in this family, Jen. <laughs> oh. It's like cream sauces, quiche, casserole. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh, crow. Oh, crow. Oh, my gosh. All right. Um, and then we've got Wolfgang Puck. I've honestly never eaten here, but my sister-in-law loves it and swears by it. She says it's so good. Asia Jessica picture. just ate there not that long ago yeah. and loved it. So They had a really good experience. She liked it. I haven't eaten there in forever, so I can't give an yeah. opinion. Mm -hmm. So... Well, anyway, that's our rundown. Aside from, we will shout out Wine Bar George one more time, which does have mm -hmm. delicious yes. foods as well if you're going to go to the dining room portion to eat. Yeah, um, they have such great food there. They actually have really good food. Like there. the skirt steak platter, the boards, you know, like the cheese boards and everything. Like they have this yeah. great hummus app, which is so simple, but I love it. But sometimes like that, like the small plates just hit. And the oh, flaming cheese. Oh, that's right. They oh have the God, flaming we cheese. About the flaming cheese. They like flaming. serve it to you and then light it on fire. Saganaki. Yeah. Who doesn't so want flaming that. cheese? Oh, man. I wish right. I could go tonight. <laughs> right. And just destroy myself with a flaming cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, hmm. Well, as you can see, there are a lot of great eats at Disney Springs. Um, that's a rundown of our favorites. Let us know what your favorites are if you've eaten there. Or let us know if you try one of them because, you know, we have a lot of great recommendations here. We'd be happy to help you start planning one of these on your next Disney vacation where you probably should go to the parks and not just Disney Springs the whole time. <laughs> but you should Don't. build in a day for Disney Springs. Mm -hmm. Don't do what for we sure. do. Do what we say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> suggest do what we suggest <laughs> my itineraries are just disney springs for five days <laughs> you guys are going to imagine parks, you know parks optional parks <laughs> optional <laughs> disney springs, disney springs. <laughs> so well funny. Uh, so you can follow all of our adventures and we do all end up in Disney Springs at some point, uh, multiple times throughout the year. So we'll follow these lovely, lovely ladies. Um, we'll start uh, with our, with our biggest Disney Springs fan. Um, Kyla, where can they follow you? <laughs> you can find me at Disney Springs. <laughs> <laughs> that should really be my handle. I'm it sure it should be. Not, not it should Disney not be the Springs official handle. like this. <laughs> no, but you can find me at Disney Geek 27. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emily, how about you? You can find me at Upon a Star Emily on Insta. And I, yeah, I spend a lot of time at Disney Springs, like 15 minutes down the road. So we are there a lot. Yes, absolutely. And Heather. You can find me at the Moana Mom on Instagram or, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was going to say threads, but I was like, oh, no, I haven't posted I usually do. forever. <laughs> Meanwhile, look at, look at me slacking over here with the banners. Thing. So there's Kyla, and then there's Heather, and there's Emily. <laughs> and, of course, you can follow us out upon a star travel on all the places uh, where we do get Disney Springs content in there as well. And, <laughs> and tell us if you want us to try something because we will happily do it in December. Yeah, we totally will. Yeah. And we'll give you or just tell me it. and Emily to try it like an hour from now and we will happily yep. do so. Right. And Jess yeah. will probably join you guys and then we can yeah. do like a, like another we can spot. We the reviews so. up on, upon a star travel. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll let you know what we think. Um, but in the meantime, thanks guys for joining us today. It's been real fun as always. Remember, there's a whole new world of travel to explore. We're here to help you find it. 
here to help you do all the things. And, you know, in the meantime, we will see you real soon. Bye, guys.